Hello everybody, Katarman here with another video, where today we're back on the Vanguard SMP. Uh, after the disastrous last episode, uh, more levels have been lost. Um, as is quite a lot of the daytime, so bear with me one moment. Last episode, we successfully built uh, this island and uh, the enchanting table, sort of. Uh, as you can see, I've changed the room a bit. It doesn't quite look as nice, but now we do actually have uh, max enchantment. Uh, table, which is uh, lovely. So uh, what we're going to do in this episode to try and solve our XP problem uh, is we're going to build a mob farm. Unfortunately, these guys are back. So we're going to have to go deal with them quickly. Uh, and as you can see, Things have happened. I've lost uh, durability on my armor. But we we fought off a horde of these guys. Ow. Okay, yeah, there's three of them. Yeah, just fight each other, chaps. Oh gosh. Yeah, this has not gone well. Um, right. Shouldn't have been in the water then. Right, we're just going to have to run, regain this health, hopefully. Oh. That's one dead. Two more, and there was a banner man earlier. Oh. Right, it's another one. Uh... Where's the next? Uh, he might have died. Or despawned. Or something, because I, I don't see him. Anyway, that's not what we're doing in this episode. Um, we need to find a good place for this mob farm, because it needs to be about 128 blocks away from the uh, uh, nearest uh, other spawn location. Apparently. I don't know. So what we're going to do is we're going to build it slightly out uh, in the ocean, which is just uh, just there. So we're just going to build it sort of in that area, uh, out of cobblestone, and it, they're not going to die uh, falling. Uh, they're going to die so we can hit them, and then they'll die, and then we'll get our XP. So we're definitely going to need cobblestone. Probably want a stone cutter too, actually. Uh, we've got stone, which isn't particularly good. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're going to have to work out how that's going to work. So my doorbell just rang, uh, and I died because I sat in that pond. Um, so we're going to jump into a quick time lapse, and we're going to build up. The, um, I've lost my boat. I'm guessing it's going to be down there. Uh, we're going to build up the mob spawner.
Okay, so it is now two weeks later. Um, I apologise for not having a video out last week. I ended up being ill, which was not enjoyable in the slightest. Um, but uh, the realm has been updated to 118.2. Uh, and I've also been made aware from Turnip that I've made a few mistakes with this, some of which I've rectified. Um, one of them you saw on the time lapse was me trimming it down slightly, which I found myself. Uh, and the other one is that mobs can't spawn on water. So I've crafted up some dispensers, got some redstone dust and torches, and I'm going to make a redstone line that when I press the button will toggle the dispensers in the corner that will dispense the water. I have just realised I have, in fact, forgotten uh, a button. Fortunately, I have one here from when Turnip was trying to break into the valuables bit. Uh, that was an off-camera bit of fun. Uh, and we're going to go off and pretty much put in this line. Burm, burm. So I'm now just taking the water out uh, from the inside so I can not get pushed in and fall. And whilst it wouldn't kill me because it's not made to kill uh, mobs, uh, it would actually leave me on half a heart. It would be quite painful trying to get back up here. So what we've got to try and do is mine out the corners. Oh. And once we've mined out the corners, can't get that one, we can be able to pop in these dispensers. Thankfully, this isn't the hard part. Now just putting the water buckets back into all of these. Uh, and we're done uh, on the inside of the uh, bit here anyway. Now I do have to be careful that no uh, mobs spawn whilst this lights out. Fortunately, they shouldn't do, because I'm not far enough away. Just going to have to mine down here. Uh, quickly get back home, because it is now night, and I don't really want to have to fight anything, because that goes terribly wrong for me. Uh, which is why we're building this mob farm. Because it means things shouldn't, good lord, go wrong for me as bad as they could. This, this is not going particularly well. I did spot a skeleton. Oh, and there's a creeper, and yeah, you can kind of see why we're doing this now, because uh, the the realm's on hard, which is uh, hard. Uh, but that also means that it's a lot easier to die, there are a lot more mobs spawning, and whatnot. So we're going to have a quick sleep, and then we're going to get out to work on the redstone line. So the first part of this redstone line is the easy part. We simply bridge up or pillar up and make a redstone torch and block pillar. I vastly underestimated the number of redstone torches I'd need, uh, which is why I brought all those pieces uh, to make new ones with. But what this will mean is we can send a pulse through these and it doesn't actually matter whether or not uh, the end one is powered or not, thankfully. Uh, we're nearly there, actually. Uh, the painful part, which I'm actually going to cut out for your sanity, uh, will be pillaring back, or taking away this pillar. I think I've actually... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Got um, about the right amount of redstone with me. Nearly. But I think I think this'll do. Uh, because we can't oh actually we might I break that. Put it there. This is all just gonna be quick experiments to see. Don't fall down. Oh that's fallen off. Did that turn? Yes that did. Right so that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Uh, 
So hopefully, this will then power. It does. Wonderful. So now comes the slightly more dangerous part, which is building over to the dispensers. And I'm going to do this uh, for your sanity and mine. Well, less mine, obviously. And I don't know whether we're going to need a repeater. I'm hoping not. Because of the size of it. Actually, this needs to be tough. And this is actually going to dispense out the water. So, listen. There you go. See, it's functional. At least that part is anyway. We're going to have to run this line over to the other end. But I'm going to do this so you don't have to. So they're all wired up and have all been triggered. Now I've got to quickly just get back before it becomes fully night time. Which I believe it has. So now, if I've got everything correct, if I place in that button... That should have toggled the water off. And from the look of it, it has. And that means mobs should be able to spawn and fall. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to go off and uh, do things. It looks like one of them hasn't toggled. Which is odd. As the other ones have. I'm guessing there's a piece of redstone dust I failed to place somewhere. I'm certainly going to have to try and work this out. Hmm. Perhaps if I break that and toggle it. That's done. That solved it. Brilliant. I can actually also break that block. Course, 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 course. There we go. Right. So I'm going to leave this running for a while, and we'll come back and see whether or not it has worked. Okay, so after AFKing for quite a while, actually, um, it's time to see if this has worked. I should have dispensed the water. And if any mobs have spawned, they should fall down. Is there water dripping? I don't see it. And now there's water. Um... No. No, it hasn't worked. I just only uh, headbutted my microphone there. Oh, it says light level zero. So I... don't think I disabled the water. So, I'm gonna... Disable the water, um, and then we shall come back after a little while and see whether or not it'll work. It works. It is amazing. It works! I'm in pain, I've been poisoned, but it works. There was a witch. Oh, yes, it works. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wonderful. Can't tell whether the water's on or not, but oh, yes. Yes, it works. That is amazing. And that is an incredibly close-up of my face. Uh, 
that is an amazing reason to end this video right here, right now. It works. It is amazing. I'm going to see you all in the next video. I am absolutely ecstatic that that works. Uh, if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Goodbye.